I think this is a really important point, and I just want to draw you out on it a little bit. I think a lot of Americans have this question mm -hmm. of, you know, the US government spent billions of dollars, mm -hmm. 20 years mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. investing, mm -hmm. training, mm -hmm. equipping the mm -hmm. Afghan military. Mm -hmm. And then they listen to Joe Biden and he says, you know, they didn't mm -hmm. want to fight for their country, mm -hmm. they, f they melted away. And then they saw, you know, the Taliban basically mm -hmm. take over the country without really a fight. There were mm -hmm. lots of deals done mm -hmm. in these provinces. They strolled into Kabul. Mm -hmm. Why wasn't there more staying power after yeah. 20 years and all that? Yeah. I think, again, I'm going to say it was not that they were not fighting. It was that they didn't get the chance to fight. Right. What do you mean by that? So, look, um, you will hear from a lot of... So there are many reasons that I'm going to list it. First, um, the troops, the way they were trained, right? And a lot of military officials will tell you the same thing. The training was in a way that they had built a dependency on the U.S. Especially air power. Especially air power. I mean, that was the obvious one. Even the ground uh, foot soldiers. Um, you know, somebody gave me a very uh, specific example. They said, you know, these, these home ways had the GPS. The GPS was usually the Afghans didn't know how to run it. So that when the U.S. decided to withdraw, in the, the, technical, the technical team was kind of gone away from the backup. So these, these Humvees, when they will drive it, it was always like they were driving, blind people were driving it because they didn't know, because I think those systems were telling them where are their mines and not mines or how this is. So it's, so things like that. So the dependency, the dependency was, you know, one thing was there. And I think there was not enough window to build the right type of transition. 